Lord, not ours, not the Lord, and the Lord, and the Lord, and the Lord, and the Lord, be our God, glory to be, O heaven, the King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, Lord, ever our President, fill us all things, treasure us good things, and giver of life. Come and dwell in us, and cleanse us from all impurity, and save our souls of good ones. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and in the ages of amen. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself our King and God. How beloved that I go into the Lord of hosts, my soul longeth and fainteth for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh have rejoiced in the living God. For the sparrow hath found herself a house, and the turtle dove a nest for herself, where she may lay her young. Even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, blessed are they that dwell in thy house under the ages, shall they praise thee. Blessed is the man whose help is from thee, he hath made a sense in his heart, in the veil of weeping, in the place which he hath appointed. Yea, for the law giver will give blessings, they shall go from strength to strength, the God of God shall be seen in Zion. O Lord of, Fort, o Lord of hosts, hearken unto my prayer, give ear, O God of Jacob. O God, our defender, behold and look upon the face of thine anointed one, for better is one day in thy courts than thousands elsewhere. I have chosen rather to be an outcast in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of sinners. For the Lord loveth mercy and truth. God will give grace and glory to the Lord. The Lord will not withhold good things from them that walk in innocence. O Lord, God of hosts, blessed is the man that hopeth in thee. Thou hast been gracious, O Lord, unto thy land. Thou hast turned back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquities of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sins. Thou hast made all thy wrath to cease. Thou hast turned back from the wrath of thine anger. Turn us back, O God, of our salvation, and turn away thine anger from us. Wilt thou be wroth with us under the ages, or wilt thou dry, draw out thy wrath from generation to generation? O God, thou wilt turn and quicken us, and thy people shall be glad in thee. Show us, O Lord, thy mercy and thy salvation. Do thou give unto us. I will hear what the Lord God will speak in me, for he will speak peace to his people and to his saints, and to them that turn their heart unto him. Surely nigh unto them that fear him is his salvation, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth is sprung out of the earth, and righteousness hath looked down from heaven. Yea, if the Lord will give goodness, and our land shall yield her fruit. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set his footsteps in the way. Bow down thine ear, O Lord, and hearken unto me, for poor and needy am I. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, O my God, that hopeth in me. Have mercy on me, me, O Lord, for unto thee will I cry all the day long. Make glad the soul of thy servant, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. For thou, O Lord, art good and gentle, and plenteous of mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend unto the voice of my supplication. In the day of mine affliction have I cried unto thee. For thou hast heard me, there is none like unto thee among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works unto thy works. All the nations whom thou hast made shall come and shall worship thee, worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great and workest wonders. Thou alone art God, guide me, O Lord, in thy way, and I will walk in thy truth. Let my heart rejoice that I may fear thy name. I will confess thee, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forever. For great is thy mercy upon me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the nethermost Hades. O God, transgressors have risen up against me, and the assembly of the mighty hath sought after my soul, and they have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, my God, art compassionate and merciful, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and true. Look upon me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thy handmaiden. Work in me a sign unto good, and let them that hate me behold, and be put to shame. For thou, O Lord, hast opened me, and comforted me. Work again in me, work in me a sign unto good, and let them that hate me behold and be put to shame. For thou, O Lord, hast opened me and comforted me. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We keep praise of God in silence of each other, thou be in the Jerusalem. Give unto my prayer, unto the Yishal, flesh come. The words of all us men have overpowered us before, and godliness shall now be merciful. Blessed is he who now has chosen men, and taken to thyself, we shall be in the course. We shall, we shall be filled with the good things of thy house, holy as a temple, wonderful and majesty. Our goodness was of God of our salvation, O God our Savior, God, hope of all the ends of the earth, and of them that be far off at sea. For sends vast mountains by thy strength, Lord, girded round about with power, troublous with and troublous the hollow of the sea. As for the war of its waves, shall it stand up. And even shall be troubled in the dwellers of the waters region, shall be afraid of thy signs. I shall make the outgoings of the morning and the evening to delight. Thou hast visited the earth and abundantly watered her. Thou hast multiplied the means of enriching her. The river of God is filled with waters. Thou hast prepared that food for us as the preparation thereof. Do thou make her fur- furrows drunk with water, multiply her princes in her showers, for she be glad when she sprouted forth. Thou shalt be blessed. Thou shalt bless the crown of the year with thy goodness and thy plan. Plain shall be filled with fatness. In which shall be the mountains of the wilderness, and the hills shall be girded with rejoicing. The rams of the flock have clothed themselves with fleece, and the val- in the valley shall abound with wheat. We shall cry aloud, yea, they shall chant hymns unto thee. Shall with jubilation unto the Lord, all the earth chant him to his name, give glory and praise of him. Say unto God, how awesome are thy works, and in thy multitude of thy power shall thy enemies be proved false unto thee. Let all the earth worship thee, enchanted unto thee, and look enchanted to thy name, O Most High. Come and see the works of the Lord, how awesome he is in his countenance, more than the sons of men. He turneth the sea into dry land, and the river shall they pass through all foot. There shall be rejoicing him and him that is ruler in his sovereignty forever. His eyes look upon the nations, let not them that have been him be exalted in themselves. O bless our God, ye nations, and make the voice of his praise to be heard. Who hath established my soul in life, and permitted not thy feet to be shaken. Thou hast proved us, O God, and by fire hast thou tried us, even as silver is tried by fire. Thou hast brought us into the snare, thou hast laid afflictions upon our back, thou hast made us men to mount upon our heads. We <coughs> went through the fire and water, and thou didst bring us out into the refreshment. I will go out to the, into thy house for the whole bird's offering. To thee will I pay my vows, which my lips have pronounced, which my lips pronounced, and which my mouth had spoken in my affliction. Whole burnt offerings full of marrow will I offer unto thee with incense and rams, oxen and goats will I offer unto thee. Come in here, and I will declare unto you, all you that fear God, what things he hath done for my soul. Unto him with my mouth and I cry, and I exalt him with my tongue. If in my heart I regarded unrighteousness, let the Lord not hear me. For the Lord God hath hearkened unto me, he hath been attentive to the voice of our supplication. Blessed is God, who hath not turned away my prayer, but his mercy away from me. God be gracious unto us, and bless us, and cause his face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. There may know upon the earth thy way among all the nations thy salvation. For the peoples give thee praise, O God, let all the peoples praise thee. Let the nations be glad and rejoice, for thou shalt judge peoples with the brightness, and nations shall thou guide upon the earth. Let the peoples give thee praise, O God, let all the peoples praise thee, the earth that yielded the fruit. Let God, our God, let bless us, let God bless us, let all the ends of the earth fear him. For there is the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Alleluia, 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 glory to Thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to Thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to Thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God arise, let his enemies be scattered, and let them hit that heat and flee from before his face. As smoke vanished, so let them vanish. As wax fell before the fire, so let sinners perish in the presence of God. Let the righteous be glad, let them rejoice in the presence of God, let them be like and glad. Sing unto God, chant unto his name, prepare you the way for him that rideth upon the setting of the sun. Lord is his name, yea, rejoice before him. Let them be troubled at his presence, who is the father of orphans and a judge to the widows. God is in his holy place, God settled the solitary in a house. Mightily leading forth them that are shackled, and likewise them that embitter him, them that dwell in tombs. O God, when thou wentest forth before thy people, look when thou didst traverse the wilderness. The earth was shaken, and the heaven dropped to you, at the presence of the God of Sinai, at the presence of the God of Israel. I have the rain freely given, shalt thou ordain, O God, for thine inheritance, yea, the kingdom, that thou shalt restore. 
And other the creatures shall dwell therein, and others prepare to deny goodness for the poor man of God. The Lord shall give speech of great power to them that bring good tidings. He that is the king of the hosts of his beloved one shall divide the spoils for the beauty of the house. Even if he sleep among the lots, he shall have the wings of the dove covered with silver and her pinions of sparkling gold. When he that is in the heavens ordained kings over her, they shall be made snow white and so on. The mountain of God is a butter mountain, a curdled mountain, a butter mountain. Why suppose ye that there be other curdled mountains? This is the mountain wherein God is pleased to dwell. The the Lord will dwell therein to the end. <clears throat> the chariot host of God is ten thousand fold, yea, thousands of them that abound in number. The Lord is among them at Sinai, in his holy place. Thou hast descended on high, thou us captivity captive. Thou hast received gifts among men, yea, for they were disobedient, that thou mightest dwell therein. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper so long away. Our God is the God of salvation. The pathways leading forth from death are those of the Lord's glory. But God shall crush the heads of his enemies, the very crowd of them that continue in their trespasses. The Lord said, I will return from the sun. I will return and keep to the sea. That thy foot may be dipped in blood, yea, the tongue of thy dogs, and that of thine enemies. Thy processions have been seen, O God, processions of my God, and of my King, who is in the sanctuary. There is a twenty four, and after them there the chanters in the midst of timber play maidens. The congregation bless ye God, the Lord from the wellspring of Israel. God is Benjamin, the younger in rapture, the princes of Judah, their rulers, the princes of Elam, the princes of Nephilim. Give thou command, O God, unto thy hopes, strengthen, God, O God, this which thou hast brought in us. Because of thy temple in Jerusalem, kings shall bring gifts unto thee. Rebuke the wild beasts of the reed, the congregation of bulls among the heifers of the peoples, as they exclude them that have proved like silver. Scatter the nations that desire wars. Ambassadors shall come out of Egypt, and Ethiopia shall hasten to stretch out their hand unto God. Yet ye kingdoms of the earth, sing unto God, change ye unto the Lord, unto him that rideth the heaven of heaven towards the day spring. Lo, he will utter with his voice of a voice of power. Give you glory unto God, his magnificence is over Israel, and his power is in the clouds. Wondrous is God in his saints, the God of Israel. He will give power and strength unto his people. Blessed is God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Him who now has smitten, and to the pain of my wounds have they added, 
and liquidity to their iniquity, and let them not enter into thy righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living, and let the righteous of them not be written. Born in sorrow and I, may, may thy salvation, O God, be quick to help me. I will praise the name of my God with an oath that will magnify him with praise. And this shall please God more than a young calf that hath horns and hoofs. A beggar's behold it and be glad, seek after God, and your soul shall live. The Lord hath hearkened unto the poor, and hath not despised them that have better for his sake. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the sea and all the creeping things therein. For God will save Zion, and the city of Judea shall be built, and he shall dwell therein and inherit it. The seed of thy servants shall possess it, and they that love thy name shall dwell therein. For God be attentive unto helping me, O Lord, make haste to help me. But then be shamed and confounded that seek after my soul, and then be turned back and brought the shame that desire evils against me. But then be turned back to the shame that say unto me, Well done, well done. But then be glad and rejoice in me. All that seek after thee, O God, and with them that love thy salvation, seek it to me, O Lord, be magnified. But as for me, I am born in thee, O God, come into my name. My helper, my deliverer, O thou, O Lord, make no long tarrying. For unto the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both thou and every unto thee, just a baby is on there. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Have mercy, O Lord, mercy, Lord, have mercy. Now from the ninth hour for our sake, it's taste of death in the flesh. Death in the subtlety of our flesh, for Christ, God, and save us. With my supplication, call I before thee, O Lord, according to thine oracle, give me understanding. Lord, thou who at the night hour, who I seek the states of death and the flesh, Dead in the subtlety of our flesh, O Christ God and Savior. Let my petition come before thee, O Lord, according to thine oracle, deliver me. Would thou at the night hour, for our sickness takes the breath in the flesh, dead in the subtlety of our flesh, O Christ God and Savior. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Continuation of the Ladder of Divine Ascent, Step 15 on Chastity. In the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. When we are in the world for some necessity, we are protected by the hand of God, perhaps through the prayer of our spiritual Father, that the world may not be blasphemed through us. And sometimes we are protected through our insensitivity, and through having had long experience of the sights of the world and its subjects of conversation and all its doings. And sometimes it is because the demons go away of their own accord and leave us only the demon of conceit, which takes the place of all the rest. Here yet another trick and villainy of that deceiver, all ye who desire to practice and guard purity. One who had experience of this craftiness told me that the demon of sensuality very often hid himself completely, and while a monk was sitting or conversing with women, he would suggest to him extreme piety, and perhaps even a fountain of tears, and would put into his mind the thought of instructing them on the remembrance of death, judgment, and chastity. Then the poor women, being deceived by his speech and false piety, would run to this wolf as to a shepherd, and when at last acquaintance ripened into familiarity, the unfortunate monk would suffer a fall. Let us by every means in our power avoid either seeing or hearing of that fruit which we avowed not to taste. For it is absurd to think ourselves stronger than the prophet David. That is impossible. Purity is worthy of such great and high praise that certain of the fathers venture to call it freedom from passion. Some say that those who have tasted sin cannot be called pure. In refutation of this view, I would say, if anyone is willing, it is possible and easy to graft a good olive onto a wild olive. And if the keys of heaven have been entrusted to one who had always lived in a state of virginity, then perhaps the teaching of those who maintain what I have quoted above would be right. But let them be put to shame by him who had a mother-in-law, and having become pure, received the keys of the kingdom. 
The snake of sensuality is many-faced. And those who are inexperienced in sin, he sows the thought of making one trial and then stopping. But these crafty creature incites those who have tried this to fresh trial through the remembrance of their sin. Many inexperienced people feel no conflict in themselves simply because they do not know what is bad. And the, inex- and the experienced, because they know this abomination, suffer disquiet and struggle. But often the opposite of this also happens. When we rise from sleep in a good and peaceful mood, we are being secretly encouraged by the holy angels, especially if we went to sleep with much prayer and watching. But sometimes we rise from sleep in a bad mood, and this is a result of evil dreams and visions. I have seen the wicked one highly exalted and towering aloft, and foaming and raging in me like the cedars of Lebanon. And I passed by with temperance, and lo, his fury was not as before. Then I humbled my thought and looked for him, but not even a place or a trace of him could be found in me. He who has conquered his body has conquered nature, and he who has conquered nature has certainly risen above nature. And he who has done this is little, if at all, lower than the angels. It is not surprising for the immaterial to struggle with the immaterial, but it is truly surprising for one inhabiting matter and in conflict with this hostile and crafty matter to put to flight immaterial foes. The good Lord shows his great care for us in that the shamelessness of the feminine sex is checked by shyness as with a sort of bit. For if the woman were to run after the man, no flesh would be saved. The discerning fathers have defined that assault is one thing, converse another, consent another, captivity another, struggle another, passion so called in the soul another. And these blessed men define assault as a simple conception, or an image of something encountered for the first time which has entered the heart. Converse is conversation with what has presented itself, accompanied by passion or dispassion. And consent is the bending of the soul to what has been presented to it, accompanied by delight. But captivity is a forcible and involuntary rape of the heart, or a permanent association with what has been encountered, which destroys the good order of our condition. Struggle, according to their definition, is power equal to the attacking force, which is either victorious or else suffers defeat according to the soul's desire. Passion, they say, is preeminently that which for a long time nestles with persistence in the soul, forming therein a habit, as it were, by the soul's long-standing association with it, since the soul of its own free and proper choice clings to it. Of all these states, the first is without sin, the second not always. But the third is sinful or sinless according to the state of the contestant. Struggle is the occasion of crowns or punishments. Captivity is judged differently, according to whether it occurs at the time of prayer or at other times, whether in things indifferent, that is, neither good nor bad, or in the case of evil thoughts. But passion is unequivocally, unequivocally condemned in every case, and demands either corresponding repentance or future punishment. Therefore, he who regards the first assault dispassionately cuts off in a single blow all the rest which follow. Amongst the more precise and discerning fathers, there is mention of a still more subtle notion, something which some of them call a flick of the mind. This is its characteristic. Without passage of time, without word or image, it instantaneously introduces compassion to the victim. There is nothing swifter or more indiscernible among spirits. It manifests itself in the soul by a simple remembrance, which is instantaneous, independent, and apprehensible, and in some cases even unknown to the person himself. If anyone, therefore, with the hope of mourning, has been able to detect such a subtlety, he can explain to us how it is possible for a soul by the eye alone, by a mere glance, or the touch of a hand, or the hearing of a song, without any notion or thought, to commit a definite sin of impurity. Some say that it is from thoughts of fornication that passions invade the body. But some affirm, on the contrary, that it is from the bodily senses that evil thoughts are born. The former say that if the mind had not gone before, the body would not have followed after. And the latter adduce the villainy of bodily passion and justification of their view, saying that often bad thoughts manage to enter into the heart as a result of a pleasant sight, or the touch of a hand, or the smell of perfume, or hearing sweet voices. If anyone can do so in the Lord, let him explain this, 
For knowledge of this sort is extremely necessary and profitable for those living the active life discerningly. But for those practicing virtue and simplicity of heart, this is not of the least importance. For not all have knowledge, but neither do all have the blessed simplicity which is the breastplate against the wiles of the evil spirits. Some passions pass to the body from the soul, and some do the opposite. The latter happens to people living in the world, but the former to those living the monastic life, because of the lack of outward stimulus. But about this I will only say, thou shalt seek wisdom among evil men, and shalt not find it. When we have struggled much with this demon, the maid of clay, and driven it out of our heart, torturing it with the stone of fasting and the sword of humility, then this wretch, like some kind of worm, hides itself in our body and endeavors to defile us, tickling us into irrational and untimely movements. It is those who are subject to the demon of arrogance who especially suffer in this way, because as their hearts are no longer continually occupied with impure thoughts, they are prone to the passion of pride. And in order to be convinced of the truth of what has been said, when they have achieved a certain measure of stillness, let them discreetly examine themselves. Then they will certainly find that some thought is concealed in the depth of their heart like a snake in dung, suggesting to them that they have made some progress in purity of heart by their own effort and zeal. Poor wretches, they do not think of what was said. What hast thou that thou didst not receive as a free gift, either from God or by the cooperation and prayers of others? And so let them look to their own affairs, and let them cast out of their heart with all speed the snake mentioned above, filling it by much humility, so that when they have got rid of it, they may in time be stripped of their clothing of skin, and as chaste children sing to the Lord the triumphal hymn of purity. If only when they are stripped, they do not find themselves naked of that humility and freedom from malice which is natural to children. This demon, much more than any other, watches for critical moments, and when we are unable to pray bodily against it, then the unholy creature launches a special attack against us. For those who have not yet obtained true prayer of the heart, violence and bodily prayer is a great help. I mean, stretching out the hands, beating the breast, sincere raising of the eyes to heaven, deep sighing, frequent prostrations. But often they cannot do this alone to the presence of other people, and so the demons especially choose to attack them just at this very time. And was, as we have not yet the strength to resist them by firmness of mind and the invisible power of prayer, we yield to our enemies. If possible, go apart for a brief space, hide for a while in some secret place. Raise on high the eyes of your soul if you can, but if not, your bodily eyes. Hold your arms motionless in the form of the cross in order to shame and conquer your amulet. By this sign, cry to him who is mighty to save, not with cleverly, fun, cleverly spun phrases, but in humble words, preferring, preferably making this your prelude, have mercy on me, for I am weak. Then you will know by experience the power of the Most High, and with invisible help you will invisibly drive away the invisible ones. He who accustoms himself to wage war in this way will soon be able to put his enemies to flight solely by spiritual means, for the latter is a recompense from God to doers of the former, and rightly so. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. Deliver us not up utterly for thy holy name's sake, neither disannul thou thy covenant, and cause not thy mercy to depart from us. For Abraham's sake, thy beloved, and for Isaac's sake, thy servant, and for Israel's thy holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Seeing the author of life hanging on the cross, the thief said, Were it not God incarnate who is crucified with us, the sun would not have hid its rays, nor would the earth have quaked and trembled. But do thou who endurest all things remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
in the midst of two thieves thy cross was found to be balanced, to be a balance of justice for the one who was born down to Hades by the wage of his blasphemy, the other was raised up from his sins to the knowledge of theology, O Christ God, glory be to thee. Both now and ever and unto the ages, the ages, amen. When she who bare the Lamb and Shepherd and Savior of the world beheld him on the cross, she said with tears, The world rejoiceth at receiving redemption. Clutch my vows, burn as I see thy crucifixion, which thou endurest for all, O my Son and my God. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and hast mercy on sinners, who call us all to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and guide our life toward thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels, and guarded and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, the we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. I be gracious unto us, and bless us, and come out thy face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. <clears throat> Lord and Master of my life, a spirit of idleness, despondency, ambition, and idle talking to me, Lord. Rather, the spirit of chastity, humble mindedness, patience, and love bestow upon me, their servant. Hear, yeah, Lord, King, grant me to see my own feelings and not condemn my brother. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, your God, who art long suffering in the face of our transgressions, <coughs> and who has brought us even unto this present hour, wherein thou didst hang upon the life-giving tree, and didst make a way into paradise for the wise thief, and by death didst destroy death. Be gracious unto us sinners, and thine unworthy servants, for we have sinned and committed iniquity, and are not worthy to lift up our eyes and behold the height of heaven, for we have abandoned the way of thy righteousness, and have walked in the desires of our hearts. But we beseech thy boundless goodness, spare us, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy mercy, and save us for thy holy name's sake. For our days were consumed in vanity, rescue us from the hand of the adversary, and give us a and forgive us our sins, and mortify our carnal mind, that, putting aside the old man, we may be clad with the new, and live through thee, our master and benefactor, and that thus, by following in thy commandments, we may attain to rest everlasting, wherein is the dwelling place of all of them that rejoice. For thou art indeed the true joy and gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God, and unto thee do we send of glory, with thine unoriginate Father, and thy most holy and good and life creating spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. To the Son of God, always, now, never, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself our King and God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty hast thou put on. Who covers thyself with the light, with light as with a garment. Whose treasures out to heaven as it were a curtain. Who supported his chambers in the waters. Who appointed the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the winds, who maketh his angel spirits and ministers minister of the flame of fire, who establishes the earth and the assurance thereof, and shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss like a garment is his mantle. Upon the mountains shall the waters stand. At the at thy rebuke, they will flee. At the voice of thy thunder, shall they be afraid? And the mountains rise up. And at the voice of thy thunder, they shall be afraid. The mountains rise up, and the plains sink down, unto the place where they are, where, where thou hast established them. Thou appointest a bound that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys between the, the mountains, where the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heaven lodge. From the midst of the rocks will they give voice. He watereth the the mountains from his chambers. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle and green herb for the service of men. 
to bring forth bread out of the earth, and wine to make it glad the heart of man, to make his face cheerful with oil, and bread to strengthen men's hearts. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the, the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nests, the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hares. He hath made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth his going down. Thou pointest the darkness, and there was the night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad, young lions roaring after their prey and seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in their dens. But man shall go forth unto his work, and to his labor, unto, his, unto the evening. Have magnified the works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation, so is this great and spacious sea. Therein are things creeping innumerable, small living creatures of the great. There go the ships, there the dragon, whom thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest to them, they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with thy goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they, and they shall be created. And thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages. The Lord will rejoice in his works, who looketh on the earth, and maketh it tremble, who touches the mount, mountains, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. O oh, that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that work iniquity, that they should not be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. The sun knoweth is going down, thou appointest the darkness, and there is the night. How magnify thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for thou and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. He said, Let's pray to the Lord. Peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us be gentle and firm and with faith, reverence and the fear of God and for herein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Our great Lord and Father, His Holiness, be here, Kirill, our Lord, the very most reverend Metropolitan Nicholas, first hour to the Russian Church abroad, and the venerable priesthood, the diaconate of Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. To our all venerable Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, our commander, our seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. This land of authorities and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. The God preserved Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy.
contracted with an author of the the Lord is large as yet of us under the necks of sinners, let them be put to shame into the ground, O they that hate Zion, let them be as the grass upon the house house, which before it is plucked up is put away, wherefore the reaper throws not his hand, or he that gathereth sheep his bosom, nor have they that pass by said, the blessing of the Lord come upon you, and are blessed in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, who is now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Whatever mercy, whatever mercy, whatever mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, who is now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Out of the depths of my pride to you, O Lord, bring my voice, that my ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. Thou shalt be smart in the days, O Lord, O Lord, who shall stand, for with thee there is forgiveness. For thy name's sake have I patiently waited for thee, O Lord. My soul hath waited patiently for thy word, my soul hath hoped in the Lord. From the morning watch unto the night, from the morning watch, let this one hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, with the King's plenteous redemption. He shall redeem this world out of all his iniquities. The Lord my heart is not exalted, nor have my eyes become lofty, nor have I walked in things too great or too marvelous for me. If I will not humble my mind, but exalt my soul as one being from his mother, so will his thou requite my soul. Let this world hope in the Lord, and henceforth and forevermore. Remember, O Lord, David in all his weakness, how he made it grow unto the Lord, and bow unto the God of Jacob. I shall not go into my book, into the dwelling of my house, I shall not ascend upon the bed of my couch, I shall not give sleep to my eyes, nor slumber to my eyelids, nor rest to my temples, until I find a place for the Lord, a habitation for the God of Jacob. And what we have heard of it in Africa, we have found it in the place of the Lord. Let us go forth into this tabernacle, so let us worship on the place where, where his feet have stood. Arise, O Lord, into thy rest, thou in the ark of thy holiness. Thy feet shall be clothed with righteousness, and thy righteous shall be glorious. For the sake of David thy servant, turn not thy face away from thy name to the one. The Lord has sworn in truth unto David, and he will not annul it. For the fruit of thy loins, I will pour thy set upon thy throne. If thy sons keep my covenant, and these testimonies will I teach them. Their sons also shall sit forever on thy throne. For the Lord hath elected sign, he hath chosen her to be a habitation for himself. This is my rest forever and ever. Here will I dwell, for I have chosen her. Blessing I will bless with her suit. Her beggars will I satisfy with bread. Her priests will I fill with salvation. Her sins will rejoice and shall be glorious. Here will I make to spring forth a horn for David. I have prepared a lamb for my Christ. His enemies will I fill with shame, but upon him shall my sanctification flourish. Behold, now my soul borders rejoices for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the oil of your upon the dead which runneth down upon the beard, upon the beard of hair which runneth down to the trench of his raven. It is like the dew of our mon which runneth down upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing of life forevermore. Behold, now that I see the Lord on the servants of the Lord, and he that stand in the house of the Lord, the courts of the house of our God. And the knights lift up your hands unto the holies and bless the Lord. The Lord bless the out of Zion, and he that made heaven and the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Again, please let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, for thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Always remembering some most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious, and eternal, full of us, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life to Christ our God. Thine is the dominion, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the second tone, you are a pride of unity. Hearken unto me. Hearken unto me.
O martyrs of Christ, you were bound after some Maria rest, and were all incarcerated in prison for a long time, being divine keepers of the faith. Therefore the infamous beast enraged slowly with the sword. You would imply to submit to his evil commands, and I yet joyously inherited the heavens, having joined yourselves to the kingdom. O ye forty two, O glorious one, the amazing mercy to prevail over us, and the truth of the Lord abideth forever. Let us all praise the Lord Constantine, Bastuis, and Calistus. Theodore and Theophilus, and the rest of the godly company of athletes, for sacrificing themselves joyfully, they chose to die for the life of all, and now they rest in the city of the living God, and ask that we may find remission of offenses on the day of judgment and complete deliverance. We look now in the same tone. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O most immaculate Theotokos, from every attack of the enemy, do thou say those who with piety worship thine offspring, as thou art the intercessor for our whole race. For thee have we all now acquired as our help, refuge and confirmation, and a mediatress before Christ the Master and Lord. Him do thou entreat, we pray, that he grant peace to the world and forgiveness of sins, unto those who have recourse to thy protection. O joyous light of the holy glory of the immortal heavenly, holy, blessed Father of Jesus Christ, having come to the setting of the sun, having beheld the evening lights, we praise the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, God. Meet it is for thee at all times to be him with reverent voices of the Son of God, giver of life, wherefore the world doth glorify thee. And to thy spirit, in the six tone, salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. Salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. O Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me? Salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. Salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. The reading is from Genesis. In the beginning God made the heavens and the earth, but the earth was unsightly and unfurnished, and darkness was over the deep. And the Spirit of God moved over the water, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Then God saw the light, that it was good, Then God divided between the light and the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the water, and let it be a division between water and water. And it was so. And God made the firmament, and God divided between the water which was under the firmament, and the water which was above the firmament. And God called the firmament heaven, and God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning the second day. And God said, Let the water which is under the heaven be collected into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And the water which was under the heaven was collected into its places, and the dry land appeared. And God called the dry land earth, and the gatherings of the waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the herb of grass, bearing seed according to its kind and according to its likeness, 
Then the fruit tree bearing fruit whose seed is in it according to its kind on the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth the herb of grass, bearing seed according to its kind and according to its likeness, and the fruit tree bearing fruit whose seed is in it according to its kind on the earth. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening and there was morning the third day. In the fifth tone, the Lord will hearken unto me when I cry unto him. That it's hearken unto me. The Lord will hearken unto me when I cry unto Him. The Lord will hearken unto me when I cry unto Him. The reading is from Proverbs. The Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, who reigned in Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, and to understand words of wisdom, to receive also hard sayings and the solutions to dark sayings, to understand true justice and how to direct judgment, that he might give subtlety to the simple and to the young men discernment and understanding. For by the hearing of these, a wise man will be wiser, and the man of understanding will gain direction and will understand a parable and a dark speech, the sayings of the wise also, and riddles. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and there is good understanding to all that practice it, and piety toward God is the beginning of discernment, but the ungodly will set it not wisdom and instruction. Hear, my son, the instruction of thy father, and reject not the rules of thy mother. For thou shalt receive for thy head a crown of graces, and a chain of gold around thy neck. My son, let not ungodly men lead thee astray, neither consent thou to them, if they should exhort thee, saying, Come with us, partake in blood, and let us unjustly hide the righteous man in the earth, and let us swallow him alive as Hades would, and remove the memorial of him from the earth. Let us seize on his valuable property, and let us fill our houses with spoils. And do thou cast in thy lot with us, and let us all provide a common purse, and let us have one pouch. Go not in the way with them, but turn aside thy foot from their paths, for their feet run to do evil, and are swift to shed blood. For nets are not without cause bred for birds, for they that are concerned in murder store up evils for themselves, and the overthrow of transgressors is evil. These are the ways of all that perform lawless deeds. For by ungodliness they destroy their own life. Wisdom singeth aloud in the streets, and in the broad places speaketh boldly. God said, O Lord, if you give us an evening without sin, blessed us now, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorify his name unto the ages of men. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, give me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me with thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endures forever, to stain out the work of thy hands. To these do praise, to these do a song, to be glorious due to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, so now and ever and unto the ages. The ages is on the end. Let us keep your evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. In the holy name, may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Let us, O Lord. In the name of the peace of faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Let us, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. Let me complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. Which demanding to our life, nameless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant us, O Lord. Calling for remembrance 
the most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious, and eternal person of our Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God.
Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and remember our debts as we forgive our debtors. We us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And if the glory of the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let the Lord's virgin rejoice, Mary, for grace the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. For thou hast born the Savior of our soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Baptizer of Christ, give us all in remembrance that we be delivered from our iniquities. For to thee was given grace to intercede for us. O now endeavor it unto the ages of ages. Amen. Read it our behalf, O holy apostles and all saints, that we be delivered from perils and afflictions. For the hour quiet you as fervent mediators before the Savior. Beneath thy compassion do we take refuge of the Autocus. Disdain not our supplication in times of affliction, but do thou deliver us from perils of only pure, only blessed one. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have what a mercy, 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 glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and the uncomparable, glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, the Union, magnify, and in the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Jesus is blessed, Christ our God, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O heavenly King, strengthen all that us Christians, establish the faith, subdue the nations, give peace to the world, keep well this holy habitation, settle our departed fathers and brethren in the tabernacles of the righteous, and receive us in penitence and confession, for, our, for thou art good and lover of mankind. Holy Master of my life, the spirit of idleness, despondency, ambition, and idle talking, give me not. Rather, a spirit of chastity, humble mindedness, patience, and love bestow upon me thy servant. Yea, O Lord King, bear me to see my own failings and not condemn my brother. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Good O God, cleanse me of sin. 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 O God, cleanse me of sin and have mercy on me. O Lord and Master of my life, the spirit of idleness, despondency, ambition, and idle talking, give me not. Rather, a spirit of chastity, humble mindedness, patience, and love bestow upon me, thy servant. Yea, O Lord King, ready to see my own failings and not condemn my brother. Blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, Lord of our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities, the Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and 
works with us as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Then is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. O Holy Trinity, be consistent to me in the indivisible kingdom, and cause of every good, show thy good will, even unto me, the sinner. Make steadfast my heart, and grant it all understanding, and take away mine every defilement. Enlighten my mind that I may glorify him, worship and say, One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. And the Lord shall in my soul be praised. Let them be here and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and he delivered me from all my tribulations. Come unto him, and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be a saint. With this poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his tribulations. The angel of the Lord bore camp around about them that feared him, and delivered them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that opened in him. O oh, oh, fear the Lord, are ye saints, for there is no one to them that fear him. Rich men have, for, have turned poor and gone hungry, but they that seek the Lord shall not be deprived of any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there that desireth life who loveth to see good days? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their supplication. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, utterly to destroy the remembrance of them that, uh, from the earth. The righteous cried, and the Lord heard them, and he delivered them from all their tribulations. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a contrite heart, and he will save the humble of spirits. Many are the tribulations of the righteous, and the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. The Lord keepeth all their bones, and not one of them shall be broken. The death of sinners is evil, and they that hate the Lord, they, they that hate the righteous shall do wrong. The Lord will redeem the souls of his servants, and none of them will do wrong. That both of them wisdom is truly meet to the seed of the Otokos, ever blessed and most famous and mother of our God. Most holy cares of God save us. O our honorable and mature will, we are compared more glorious in the serve him, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos to be really magnified. Glory to Christ, God our hope, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, who now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Father blessed. Mercy to our true God, the intercession of this most pure mother, the power of confession and life giving cross, and the intercessions of the honorable glorious prophet, Corbin Aaron Baptist John, of the holy glorious and all praised apostles, of the holy great martyr and healer of the Lima, of our Father among the saints, John of Shanghai and San Francisco. <laughs> Of the holy forty-two martyrs of Amoria, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us for He is good, the lover of mankind. First, I work the Russian church abroad, the old venerable habit of this holy monastery, our commanders here of him, the brethren of this holy monastery, and all Orthodox Christians, preserve, O Lord, for men. 